This Raw Vision video is brought to you by Metro Solar, proud partner of the Richmond Football Club. Welcome back to the Sunday Footy Show. The Tigers got the job done yesterday against the Bombers. And Bawley, you were there? Yeah, that was good. The Bombers tried really hard, Jim. They were certainly in it at, at uh, half time, but a bit of class, as we said earlier. And Brett Delidio was great, two goals. Cam McIntosh hasn't missed a game in his, uh, in his, I think it's his first year, but he's been terrific. The Rising Star Stanton and Heppel tried really hard for the Bombers, but it was a tough night for Fords. <laughs> we're joined uh, oh, now yeah, by one of the great <laughs> superstars. Jack, thanks for joining us. <laughs> Tell us about the kit, mate. First oh. up. Nah, well, I do have to apologise. A bit of a wardrobe malfunction this morning. Uh, went to the club to do some rehab. Uh, went in the uh, in the track pants and that sort of stuff. Took the jeans and the nice pole, club polo with all the sponsors on it. Elegance tiles, Bingle Jeep. Oh. Uh, oh, no. And oh, no. I accidentally left it in my locker and then went to the went to where the Thursday footy show is held. Oh. So I've uh, oh, no. had a bit of a mare this morning. So uh, <laughs> throwing the uh, throwing the scarf on here and uh, yeah, so made it here just in time. You had a commercial is going to be flat. Yeah. 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 This is ten of the they? best minutes they can ever have. Uh, Elegance tiles, Jeep, and Bingle. Oh. So make sure uh, you get around them. No trickings, you've come a long way too since you live with him and he's starting yeah he used to ride uh brownie's coattails back in the day he used to bring the big box of stuff in and, and throw it in the middle of the change rooms and all the little scabs in the first year like myself and <laughs> and shane edwards would run in there and grab free t-shirts so uh no it's uh it's come yeah. a long way since back to uh, last since night <laughs> <laughs> dimmer must have been happy uh we said uh, at the start of the show that might have been one of those games in the past it was a bit of a danger game the bombers obviously had a good crack but just good to get Get the win and get out of there with not too much damage. Yeah, look, it's obviously good to get the win, uh, boy, but um, look, we were probably a little bit disappointed with the way we went about it last night. Um, conditions that we sort of really feel suit us. We were a little bit disappointed in our contested possessions and, uh, and uh, Essendon really jumped us early, but um, obviously at the end of the day it's four points and we're, when we've banked it and we're uh, really looking forward to a big game this week against North. You had a great battle yourself with Michael Hurley, another great battle. You two seem to do that these days, but I was really impressed with Ben Lennon as well. I thought his first quarter and first half, again when everyone was fumbling around a bit, he's really clean. He was a first round draft pick, we know. He really. I thought he played his best game for the club last night. Yeah, look, he's been really good over the last month, I reckon, boy. He's, he's that type of player, and we've, we've got a couple of them now, Brett Delidio, those sort of taller types that are really good over the head and, and really silky. The thing with, with Leno, and I think um, we forget, is that he's a second-year player. He's a first-round draft pick last year, and he's just taken a little bit of time to come on. But his contested stuff was probably a part of his game that he needed to work on, and I know that he's been doing a lot of work with Mark Williams down there and, and it's become a real strength of him and uh, it's keeping him in the side at the moment. Hey Jack, the game's changed. Uh, in the past you would have had to have kicked six or seven goals to be regarded the best three players, whereas yet now your role has completely changed. Talk us through how different uh, your responsibility is with the team now, because you're getting up the ground. How much weight have you had to lose? Give us some of the changes you've had to make. Well, I haven't really lost a, a, a lot of weight, Lloydie. It's more sort of been the pre-season um, and, and what I've put in has, has been a, a lot of hard work and a lot of running, but I think that's just the way the game's going these days. We are... Uh, we see the, the GPS numbers for us. It's not total distance. It's actually how fast you can run and how long you can run for. Mm. So um, so that high-speed running's become a part of my game and, and, and a lot of part of our game, certainly something that we, we measure it on. But, uh, look, um, the, the forward line last night and the forward line over the last sort of month has worked really well without me having a, a huge impact on the scoreboard. I think Tyrone's been mm. fantastic. He's been much maligned outside the four walls of the football club, but inside... We've always known that he, he could really be that strong key forward for us and certainly that's helping me. But um, I think we've got two nearly of the best half forwards in the competition in Brett Delidio and Shane Edwards and, mm. and they've been hitting the scoreboard and really impacting for us. I want to talk about Shane Edwards because he's done it the hard way. He's been there a long, long time. He's got, what is it, nine or ten years close to now? Yeah, nine years. He started to become an influential player last year and I thought this has been a standout year. It's taken him a long time. What have you seen in him that's made him such the player he is this year after, I mean, seven or eight years in and out of the side? Yeah, yeah. yeah look, for someone that's probably, uh, I suppose, where Shane started. We both drafted in the same year. He had a really light frame and he's been able to put some, some weight on and he's, he's actually got a really hardened body that we feel really comfortable with him around stoppages. Uh, he's nearly probably our best stoppage player and, and he's just got that ability to always help other blokes hit the scoreboard. Um, he's an elite handballer and a, and a really good tackler and you know when he's around the ball he's going to impact. To be honest, I think up until when he when he broke his leg about six weeks ago, he was probably all Australian mm, half yep. forward, which is really disappointing too, because I know that um, certainly inside our four walls, he he's rated very very highly. Hey Jack, you dropped the car last night. Let's take a look at it. So uh, you, you got on oh, Hurley's Jack. shoulders. Talk oh, us through. Oh. Oh. Unbelievable. Double. Yeah. Talk us through it. Wet ball. 
Yeah. Take a soak? No, it was disappointing. I sort of got up and then I got a little bit of a kick there and it sort of got on me a little bit quick. Free kick there, mate, for grabbing the arm. And uh, no, I, um, yeah, a little bit disappointed. No, no, don't a little bit disappointed. <laughs> you are absolutely shattered. I was filthy, but I reckon Choco was more filthy. Free got a time he comes and he goes, mate, you've just dropped the car and I was <laughs> head in the hole. But uh, he goes, there's another chance of getting a man here, who likes so. to look at your own work as much as you can up on the scoreboard, too. But you've taken a couple of good ones the last yeah. two weeks. There's oh, this one, oh, which was. That. Not bad. Swanee. Swanee. Not yeah, bad. Yeah. Swanee 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 there. And that. another one here. This is beautiful. That was last oh. night as well. You just really judged that one to perfection. Hurley looked like he had the A1 position, but uh, like any, no more than any other player in the AFL, you do watch yourself on the scoreboard a fair bit. <laughs> hey, I learned from the best brandy when you were down there. So, uh, no, look, it's, uh, it's obviously a part of my game that I, I really like and I really... Um, uh, and trying to work on. I reckon probably the start of this year I wasn't jumping at the ball as well as I could and I've been doing a lot of work over the last two weeks to, to bring that back and uh, certainly going forward it's something that I suppose I can bring to the side. Doesn't always work, does it, Jack? No, nah, I've had a couple of mares. Have you? Yeah, this one always gets brought up. <laughs> <You> always <laughs> gets brought up. Yeah. And then pushed. Yeah, yeah. Oh. <laughs> As I always say, I'm making the dumb push job easy, just letting him know that I've jumped in Jake Carlisle's back, unrealistic. Oh, Which reminded us of this. Oh. <laughs> Come on, Auto. What are you doing, Auto? Just a little bite. There's a dent in the ground. <laughs> old chubby look. Oh, bro. Oh, hey, Jack, you get your skipper back next week, you take on Jim's mob, you put the pressure back on the Swans today, you're in fourth as we sit here now. If you don't end up in that top four, how, and maybe just not the Tigers, but how realis realistic do you think it is for uh, those sides five to eight to really shake up the top four this year? Well, I sort of look at this year as it's been really even. Mm. Uh, and I think we've seen that with the results during the season. But I, I think you've just got to look at the percentage from Bath, sort of Hawthorne and West Coast are at 150. Everyone's sort of around that 120 mm. mark between 110. And I, and I really think that there's some guys, some sides playing some excellent footy. We'll just look at the game of footy that we saw yesterday with the, the Bulldogs and the Kangaroos. Both sides have pushed top four sides. And, and Adelaide are playing great footy. We saw that firsthand a month ago. And, yeah. and we're obviously travelling along OK as well. So it's, um, it's going to be a really cracker final series. And, and I know that, that we're really looking forward to it. We're really looking forward to, to this night. Putting up, pitting ourselves up against a side that's around a similar mark as us. And belted uh, Collingwood a couple of weeks ago, Jack. What was happening here with the cheer squad? Just saying hello, were you? Yeah, just, uh, just a little bit of hello there. But uh, like, look, it's uh, something I really love about footy is passionate supporters. Yeah, We've yeah. obviously got some really passionate supporters and, and the cheer squads for AFL clubs are none more passionate than, the, than, than them. So, uh, look, uh, they, they love it. I think the Collingwood fans loved it as well. It's a bit of banter, but... Uh, Look, uh, I suppose it's not nothing too big. Nah, it's all good. Speaking all good. of uh, banter, do you think Martin was stiff? I don't want to get you in trouble, but uh, to get fined for something like that uh, last week? You've got to be very careful. Um, obviously, with us, we, we really don't want to be celebrating with outside the, the, the ground. For us, it's, it's about what we can do inside our four walls and, and on the ground in, in the 22 that are playing. So celebrating with our teammates is something that we're, we're really strong on. And Look, um, the AFL dealt with that with the way they dealt with it. He had, bit, he had uh, carryover, didn't he, from yeah. the previous yeah, season? That yeah, might have, had a bit he of was carryover. Stiff. That so. might have uh, played on it a bit too. Uh, now, Bolly, I don't know whether you had him in, uh, oh. our man here, but uh, oh. since you've seen what so. he's come in dressed as, <laughs> <laughs> might have slid him in late. Votes for, votes for the dress code. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it was a tough night for forwards, but Brett Deledio, I thought, was the most influential Second player top. on the ground. It was a pretty even performance from the Tigers. Pepper was terrific at 19 contested possessions for the Bombers. McIntosh and Miles have been two great stories this yeah. year for the Tigers. Jack, j just on Bill's voice, uh, I want <laughs> I you to have, have a think about how much time he spent actually in bed last night after the My Room Ball. <laughs> What's what happened you? there, Bill? Are you a bit croaky this yeah. morning? Yeah, no, I've got um, my <laughs> esophagus. Something wrong. <laughs> something wrong with my esophagus. You go right? Yes. <laughs> you might need to go to Kemmer's Warehouse, Bill. What yes. about this? For oh, a segue, segue as we get into the injury uh, report, mate. You yeah. say Bolt. The first one up is Dane Swan for the Kemmer's Warehouse injury report. He was subbed out in the second half with a medial issue. It looks like that's next, uh, to sit out Ooh. next week, so uh, he won't play any more for this well, year. Sweet. You wouldn't blame him for that. Chris Aaron, hamstring, uh, left the ground and will look to have played his last game, possibly for the Carlton Football Club. David Allard. Got a concussion, it was subbed out. Uh, we'll have tests during the week to determine his availability next week. Just cops the hip here on Ooh, the side, so uh, accidental, obviously, that one there. Clay Cameron, concussion as well, like Allard, left the ground, he'll have tests, but uh, 
This one, he got up pretty high. The young man, he just couldn't quite stick oh, the no. landing. No. He comes down and bang. Oh. Not nice. Uh, Luke Russell caught one in the ribs. Uh, heavy hit to the ribs. And he was subbed out also. So he mightn't play next week. Might be season over for him. And Ryan Griffin. Mm. This is a big one. We're not sure how bad this one is yet. Leon Cameron said it was only minor. He might play next week. But there has been some talk that it might be an ACL as well. So Jeez. Ryan Griffin, if Jeez. that is an ACL, will not play again next year as well. I'd imagine that. So uh, bad news there for GWS. Best of luck to Ryan Griffin. Thanks very much to Chemist Warehouse for the injury report, of course. Uh, now, Jack, uh, it's nice of you to get dressed up. <laughs> we got a couple of massive weeks for the Tigers. Obviously, yes. you take on the Kangaroos, and that's they're always great games of footy. But then into the finals and time for the Tigers to win one. Oh, look, it is. We're obviously playing uh, playing some pretty good footy at the moment. We're really excited about Friday night. I reckon uh, for, yep. for, for both clubs, it's probably a great dress rehearsal for, for where they see themselves in September. So, um, look, we're really focusing on that at the moment. And then, obviously, the week after that will play itself out and, uh, and we'll work from there. Well, it's great to see you. Thanks for coming in. Thanks Thank very you. much. Jack Revolt, always welcome on any of our footy shows. We're going to take...